challenge for you today. Would you be willing to join me for a sugar-free January? You may think that this is way too extreme to do, but please hear me out and at least consider doing this challenge with me. I'm going to discuss what sugar-free January is, what it is not, why I've been cutting out sugar in January for the past few years, and then I'll go into my specific plan for this year. So this is what sugar-free January is. From January 2nd to January 31st, you cut out all forms of sugar. The beauty of sugar-free January is that it's totally customizable to your needs. So you can cut out all added sugar, including honey and maple syrup, or you could just cut out the highly reformed forms like white sugar and corn syrup. Or if you're used to eating dessert three times a day, you could just cut it down to one to two times a day, or even one time a week. Okay, now let's get into what sugar-free January is not. Sugar-free January is not a diet. It's meant to be a reset just to see if your body feels better on less sugar. It's restricting something in the short term for a specific outcome that I'll discuss in a minute. It is not intended for weight loss, that's not the goal. Now the why, my personal philosophy behind sugar-free January. Over the holidays, I tend to eat more sugar, which isn't necessarily bad. I think that it's fine to indulge in more treats around the holidays. But I start to crave sugar more, and it feels like it's controlling me rather than me making decisions. So instead of me being like, I fancy some chocolate, I'll have some chocolate. It's like, I need some chocolate right now. So for me, it's just like a mini detox to reset my sweet tooth. Then I can better assess how much sugar actually works for me. Now, as to my specific plan this year, this is gonna be a little bit different because I've decided to do an elimination diet in January. So I'm gonna be cutting out the top allergens. So I'll be going dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, seafood-free, corn-free, peanut-free, basically fun-free for January. But also with sugar-free January this year, I'm gonna be cutting out all forms of highly refined sugar. So no white sugar, no corn syrup, no things like that that are highly refined. I will allow a little bit of coconut sugar here and there, maybe in some dark chocolate, and maybe a little bit of maple syrup here and there. Since I'm being so restrictive in other forms of my diet, I decided to be a little bit more lenient with sugar-free January for this year. So, are you willing to take the challenge? If you're willing, then please leave me a comment letting me know that you're in. Telling somebody, even if it's just online, helps to make it feel real. Now get out a piece of paper and write down your personal plan for sugar-free January. So are you going to do no white sugar, no forms of added sugar at all, only one dessert a week? Decide what you're willing to do and write it down and make a plan. I'll have some resources linked below to help you out, such as a sugar-free meal plan, sugar-free snack ideas, etc. And I'm also planning on doing a What I Ate Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so that's it. Good luck, friends.